<laughs> Gotta love the antennae out at the tip of the proboscis. So, let's take a look at this over here. This is an owl fly, one of the strangest looking insects on the planet. Kind of a cross between a dragonfly and a butterfly, they say. Do some different angles on it here. What I find most interesting about them in the species that I'm seeing here in my yard are the eyes. They consist of two parts. And when the light shines on them just right, really very beautiful. This moth came along and actually made things a little better for us so that we can really get in there and get a good look at these amazing eyes. They're in the order Neuroptera, and like lacewings and mantispids and antlions, their eyes do really cool things when the light hits them just right. Not so much when moths hit them just right, which is what's happening here. Let's come around down here a little bit more. Now, from that angle, you could really see that that's just one eye on one side of the head. A good look at the mouth there. They are predators. They have mandibles, proper mouth parts for really dispatching their prey. And being Neuroptera, they have those, those wings. Neuroptera means nerve-winged insects. There's a little male ant that's trying to hitch a ride on it there. And you can see the insect now with its wings spread out, more dragonfly-like. Let's uh, take some slow-mo of the wings here. So I am out here on the other side of the screen now. Got a better look at these larvae and their eggs. Using a paintbrush here to collect them and into this cup right here. We'll take a closer look at them a little bit later. <laughs> what? Are know? these antlions? Nope. Those are not antlions. Nope. They look a lot like antlions. What are they? Owlfly. Large. No way! <laughs> Owlfly! Okay. Wow, where did you see these? They were, they, I saw eggs on my bathroom window screen and I figured they were just a moth, but uh, nope. Look at those mandibles. That is amazing. They are gonna gobble up fruit flies and we're gonna see if we can raise them to maturity. That is incredible. So cool. I, You are correct, I have uh, never seen these. <laughs> look at those heads. Do you see on my close up here? Look at the flanges yeah, on the sides oh of their bodies. Gosh. It reminds me of the violin beetle a little bit. A little bit, yeah. Only way cooler. A little smaller, true. <laughs> but look at the head shapes. I think they've like already... turtle head ants a little bit too. I think they've already bonded with you, Peter. They're like, mommy. <laughs> Put your finger in its mouth. <laughs> See some bonding. I don't think I'd be too worried about them at this size. No. But if I was a fruit fly. It'll be interesting <laughs> to see how big they get. Uh, yeah, and what species. Yeah, well, I do see two species down here. One has the divided eyes. Those are my favorite, man. Those yeah. things are aliens, like straight up. Are these not even yeah. more aliens? Yeah, seriously. Look how flat they are, too. Yeah, yeah, like flat bark beetles a little bit, too. Gosh, no wonder why the mom left. She's like, I ain't dealing with these. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> like... The mother will typically lay them in a cluster, a cluster of eggs on top of, you know, a piece of grass or something. 
but I don't know if they're free ranging, free living, or if they uh, they actual build. Actually build we a pit. only have free range alpha. <laughs> right. <laughs> and GMO free. Wow! Look at those little guys. Look at that. They're like look at how they walk too. That doesn't even look real. Yeah. Like how are they supporting that head? They need some substrate. Yeah, they do. 